All right. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Jennifer Libke. I'm the um, Waterhouse Professor and the Chair of the Department of Anatomy and Neurobiology, and actually also a uh, proud graduate uh, with my PhD from the department. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you today about our Vesalius program, our Master's in Anatomy and Neurobiology at the Boston University School of Medicine. Vesalius was an early anatomist who actually uh, wrote the very first textbook on uh, anatomical science, the human anatomy, and that's what the program uh, is named after, is uh, Vesalius. The key people in the program with regard to administration of the department is myself as chair of the department, Dr. Ann Zumwalt, who is the graduate program director overall, uh, Melissa Kelly, the administrative manager of the department, and Selvine Maraquin, who is the administrative coordinator for our graduate programs and is the person probably who can answer most of your questions if you have them subsequent to this presentation. Um, so to give you a general overview of the program, we have two major goals um, in training our students. One is to provide our students with scientific knowledge base and research skills to become outstanding biomedical researchers. And we focus, of course, as our name implies, on anatomy and neurobiology. And we also provide our trainees with abundant opportunity to become outstanding educators, in other words, to develop outstanding pedagogic skills. So it's a two-year program um, during which you will successfully complete these goals. And most of our students pursue further studies. So either entering PhD programs, going to medical school, or going directly to teach at the graduate levels at universities and colleges. Approximately a third of each of our, uh, a third of our graduates enter each of these different disciplines um, each year. Uh, so it is a rigorous two-year program. It's a 32-credit program where um, uh, you do intensive coursework in cadaver-based gross anatomy. What that means is that you dissect human uh, cadavers um, in a very intensive gross anatomy course in medical neurosciences and in graduate-level coursework in anatomy and neurobiology. You may wonder what is unique to our program uh, what differentiates us from other master's programs that may be preparatory for uh, other advanced study. Um, well, our program is unique in allowing you to take medical school courses together with medical students and also to gain practical training as educators in the biomedical sciences. So the gross anatomy and medical neurosciences courses are done uh, as part of the medical school curriculum. Um, in our coursework and other coursework besides uh, gross anatomy and neuroscience, we do uh, graduate program, graduate uh, courses uh, with a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a teaching practicum. And as I said, you have numerous opportunities to teach. In the second year of the program, uh, students are engaged in full-time research, which results in a, in a thesis which often leads to publication. So a little bit more granular detail on our teaching. Um, teaching is an essential part of our Vesalius master's program. And masters have the opportunity, um, and actually they are required to complete 40 hours of teaching under the rubric of a structured practicum. And this is usually done in the spring of the second year of, of study. And again, this is teaching in these medical school or graduate school courses. Um, the requirements for the Vesalius certificate is uh, to have taken already and done well in medical gross anatomy, medical neuroscience, and then also to take the teaching in biomedical sciences course with our award-winning faculty, um, and then to do the teaching apprenticeship, which is the 40 hours of teaching. And finally, Vesalius III is a mentor teaching practicum where you have the opportunity to develop your own didactic uh, uh, course or um, lecture for a presentation to our uh, graduate and medical students. Research requirements. So in addition to preparing our students to become outstanding educators, we also prepare our students to become outstanding researchers. 
the principal focus of our department, if you look at our website, is neuroscience. So we have 16 active neuroscience research laboratories. Um, and you would be participating in lab research under the mentorship of one of these uh, 16 departmental faculty. Um, there are also outside mentors that you could work with um, uh, if you are given permission to do so, which is usually a formality. Um, on occasion, we have students who do a strictly anatomical based thesis, so that is certainly an, uh, an opportunity that would be available to you should, should you choose to um, pursue that direction. Students choose their labs by the end of the second semester, and they work in the lab over the first summer and throughout year two. Uh, you also have the opportunity to present your research and, of course, publish your research. Um, that is the ultimate goal for most of our theses, is to gain a, a first author publication. That's pretty much what I have to say. Um, I'd like to address a couple of questions that we often get, so frequently asked questions before um, I, again, give you the contact information for people who can give you further information. One question that we get often is, um, are you required to have research experience to be accepted into the program? And the answer to that is no. Um, while it's nice if you have research exper experience, we definitely do not require that you, you have that experience. Instead, we hope to train you and give you that experience for further study. Um, our typical uh, matriculant into the program uh, has a 3.0 or better GPA, preferably in the sciences, but again, not necessarily in the sciences. Um, we do a holistic admissions approach. Uh, and so if you have any questions about what our requirements are, you should feel free to reach out to us. We do not require the GRE. Um, and so that's, uh, that's pretty much the information I have. There's, there's further information on the website. Um, for other information that um, you might, for other questions that you might have, uh, you can contact Dr. Ann Zumwalt, Dr. Selvine Mar, Dr. Sorry, I've made you a doctor already, <laughs> Selvine Maraquin, um, or if you have questions about financial matters, prerequisites, or other admissions questions, you can also contact Patricia Serlin. Um, and I'd like to end with uh, just telling you a kind of vignette about um, some of the success stories we've had uh, as part of this program. Um, and I, I think what I'll do is I'll start with one student, uh, Nick Nicoletti, who graduated from the program this past May. He was actually a master's student in my laboratory. He did an outstanding thesis that's going to become part of a publication in a paper we're preparing. Um, so his goal all along was to get into medical school. And so he just began medical school in September at the University of Michigan. Um, he's a very enthusiastic graduate of our programs. And in addition, we have currently in our department uh, PhD students who have gone through the program. So one uh, benefit of going through the master's program is to kind of cross all the T's and dot all the I's of requirements to get into PhD programs. And so we have many graduates who, who have gone on to do PhD, uh, master's graduates who have gone on to do PhDs. And I would actually um, uh, advise you, if you're interested in what our alumni do, is go to our website. And we do have under the People tab, we have an alumni link. You can look at that link and you'll see um, where our graduates over the past 50 years uh, and approximately over the last 15 years for the master's programs have, have gone and where they are today. Um, I hope this presentation has been uh, informative to you and please do uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're delighted to answer any questions you may have about the program. Have a great day.